You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Michelle McDaniel. I'm a personal trainer. A proud mother of a bouncing baby eight year old pug. And a past theater nerd gone grown up cosplayer. And this is my channel. My thoughts will probably offend you, or I share my thoughts that will probably offend at least one person. Because whenever you share your opinion on the internet, people lose their noodle and take it personally. And I'm sure with this topic, uh, people are gonna be pissed. So, let's start. So on March 4th, it was World Obesity Day. World Obesity Day is promoting practical solutions to end the global obesity crisis. It is organized by the World Obesity Federation, a nonprofit body, which is in official relations with the World Health Organization, and is a collaborating body on the Lancet Commission on Obesity. World Obesity states that its aim is to lead and drive global efforts to reduce, prevent, and treat obesity. Sounds great, right? Make people more aware of the dangers of obesity and hopefully give out information that help reduce and bring down the numbers because they are very high and the numbers and obesity in itself is a problem oh oh crap okay um it's the fat positive police <laughs> i said something very offensive i'm sorry obesity is not a problem for them and you you should you should uh, celebrate your fatness. So I thought it would be cool if we hop on Instagram together and see what's going on under the hashtag World Obesity Day. So it looks like from what I saw, part of it are doctors and just people in general talking about the realities of obesity, what can happen, early death, heart disease, etc., etc. There are also some running events and other activities to get people outside and get people moving. And then the other part, were a bunch of fat women upset about a day that warns people of obesity. And their initial goal is to hijack and show everyone how cool being fat is. So we are in for a special treat today. Let's hop into the world of Instagram. My body is not a problem to be solved. Your body is not a problem to be solved. A big you to hashtag World Obesity Day. And everyone who subscribes to the notion that fat babes are just thin people looking to escape. I mean, I'm not sure, I don't know the statistics, we don't, we don't, we won't ever know, but it looks like most people do want to escape obesity. It's a very hard thing to get out of, so I personally find that people just kind of settle with it. It's hard, you guys, I'm definitely not going to lie. It's a difficult thing. If it wasn't, then the numbers of obesity, especially in the US, would not be so high. So I can understand why people settle, but also I think the movement takes advantage of people being very vulnerable and tells them it's okay to feed into this pun completely intended, but to feed into this whole, oh, just accept it you're fine. We would absolutely never do that to someone who was too thin. I do want to say that a small part of the body acceptance before it got hijacked by the obesity clan, I completely understand. I think people that have average bodies struggle very hard with self-image, and so there are good parts of the body acceptance movement that I think can help people be more accepting to have, you know, some fat on the stomach, some jiggle jiggle to the thigh. Like you're gonna have stuff going on. So that part I agree with. I just wanted to shove that out there. Okay, now let's go dive back into the world of Instagram. Today is hashtag World Obesity Day. March is hashtag Kidney Awareness Month. And then she's got a whole list of statistics about obesity. Obesity increases the development of risk factors, diabetes, hypertension. Both these have been identified as the number one cause of kidney failure. And then in the comment section, Kristen, weight stigma is more harmful than obesity. Alrighty. World Obesity Day. My take on it. Some people are fat. Not all of us are ill. Not all of us are sad. Not all of us eat cakes. Not all of us hate exercise. Not all of us are single. Not all of us are funny. But all of us deserve basic human fucking dignity and respect. I mean, some of these I can see, I can agree with, and I understand how frustrating it is to have people just assume certain things about you. But some of these are kind of like, okay, not all of us are ill. Yeah, there are some people out there that are obese and have gotten away with not having the doctor find anything in their body that's going on. But that doesn't mean that it won't happen. I had friends that smoked a lot and nothing showed up until they were in their 40s. And what they got was because they smoked. Not all of us eat cake. Yes, but most likely if you are obese, especially morbidly obese, and I see a lot of the people in this fat positive community be very, very large women, test holiday size. And when I see someone like that, we can make a smart conclusion and say they eat way too much. I have an aunt that always says, Man, I can't lose weight. I have 
haven't had ice cream. But yet, she's still eating double fried chicken. Yes, that's a thing in my family. Going to buffets and eating everything except ice cream. Just because you don't eat one specific food doesn't mean that you can't be obese. Super fats do not exist to make you feel better about your body. F, you're racist. Is thinking people are obese now, like, racist? Or are they calling, like, the hashtag racists? Okay, I guess I'm a racist influencer. Since it's hashtag World Obesity Day, I whipped up this fat person to make this point. I spent a lot of my time as a small fat comparing myself to death fats. <laughs> Wait, remember when I told you in my last video they have like different levels of fatness? I thought it was just like small fat to infinity fat. And now it's, it's small fat to like death fat. I had no clue that was a level. But if you have death fat in one of the measuring tools that you use, then they have to know there's a problem. And being like, well, at least I'm not as big as that or as unhealthy. And that's some uh, mindset to have. No, that's, I mean, Kind of, because you're like, oh, that person over there, they're way more obese than I am, so I'm good. And no, on the other side, it's kind of a good thing to realize that you are obese, and you probably want to get a handle on it before you get to that side. Apparently, it was World Obesity Day yesterday. Just a reminder that it doesn't matter one goddamn bit what size you are. You are deserving of respect, love, joy, whether you are curvilicious, wobbly, soft, muscular. Woo! She included the muscular people. Hallelujah. Look, my boots can't even take it. They are excited. The only person I've ever seen to include me in the body acceptance community. Athletic, thick, thin, tall, short, whatever. You are beautiful as you are. Thank you. I needed that today. Let me be clear. Being fat is not a shameful thing. I have been debating for about a week whether to post this photo, but you know what? I am beautiful. I am so, so passionate about us not being body shamed. Whether that's by ourself, hello internal monologue, or the rest of the world, so fuck it. It's my body, I love all of it, and I can demonstrate that it's possible to be happy in your skin by getting down to my undies with no shame. It's worth it. We are all worthy. I mean, I do like what she said. I'm not in complete agreeance. The hashtag and the movement is great to bring awareness to obesity. We can disagree there. But I absolutely love that she actually included everyone. And then this one is a chart of where obesity places the biggest burden on healthcare. Average annual health expenditure per capita due to obesity from 2020 to 2050. And USA is the highest. Reposting because I miss World Obesity Day because I was too busy living my best hashtag fat girl magic life and also because the post is so right the fuck on. Read the whole damn thing. This is why we do what we do. Happy World Obesity Day, AKA wow. It's 2020 and people are still dying because of fat phobia in the medical industry and are denied treatment, misdiagnosed, discriminated against, and treated with little to no respect. And society as a whole still thinks that bullying fat people online and in real life is okay and fail to realize the harm they are causing. Okay, first of all, most sensible people don't think it's okay to bully anyone online. Once again, it's not just fat people. I think bullying is completely rude. And people online think they're who? Mother freaking crocodile from One Piece and think they can say whatever they want over the internet. I think that's wrong, but something that I just don't like from the fat acceptance community is that they make it seem that only fat people get bullied. That's not it, and that's pretty selfish and self-centered in my opinion. Just call me fat. It's okay, I promise. We are going to see if that holds true with the title of this video, because whenever I title something with the F word in it, people flip out and they don't even watch the video. They're just so focused on that F word. And they just want to leave me a huge paragraph of how ugly and manly I am. Ironic that the first thing a body positive group attacks my looks, but that's okay. They just see the fat word and then they have a goal. But it says it right here. Just call me fat. It's okay. I promise. Calling people lazy and fat is hindering fight against obesity. I mean, I completely agree with that in some senses. Like some people are very sensitive and people like making fun of them make them in indulge more in food, and then of course it increases their calories, it increases their body size. For me, whenever people made fun of my body when I was bigger, it just fired me up. Now I've got a fire in my belly. But yeah, all I needed was a couple comments and that sent me into overdrive because I wanted to prove them wrong. And it is the best feeling to walk past the person that's called you ugly and fat like this. Okay, not exactly like that, but you get it. And them look at you like,
<laughs> so it worked for me, but not everybody is the same. I can see how some people can just go into a deeper depression if the comment like really hurts them. This girl has a shirt that says fat bitch on it with two middle fingers. This picture is exactly how I feel about the concept of hashtag World Obesity Day. Dieting is more likely to cause an eating disorder than weight loss. Intentional weight loss also has an extremely low success rate. They always say that, that weight loss has such an extremely low success rate, so like, why do it? What if we had that idea with anything else? You really need this surgery, but it has a pretty low success rate, so we're not even gonna try. You're just gonna die. Applying for this job has a very low success rate, so you know what? Don't even try. Just go somewhere else. Give up. Is that what we're teaching people now? Just give up because the success rate is low? I have seen tons of people lose weight and they have done it. And if they can do it, so can you. It just takes a lot of dedication, a lot of consistency, and a lot of not giving up. The O word is based on the BMI chart. Long debunked garbage, science-wise. Its weight designations are arbitrary, and it is worthless as a tool to measure anything, other than the answer to scientifically pointless math equations. It doesn't tell us anything about health or well-being. And the BMI chart definitely has its flaws, but when you are morbidly obese, the BMI chart probably should mean something to you. You can't be like, oh, it's, it's got flaws, throw it out. Also, she complains that the BMI chart tells you nothing, but then when a doctor tells them that that uh, obesity is very unhealthy, then, then they're like, well, no, 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 no. You don't know that, doctor. The World Obesity Federation have declared this hashtag World Obesity Day, so here I am appropriating their hashtag to promote my fierce, fat, femme body. Here I am being fat and happy, imagine. Hashtag beach body ready, hashtag rolls and all. Rose, rolls and lols. Hashtag radical fatty. Happy World Obesity Day. Hello, everybody in Instagram land. It's Smashley Munro here. Um, I just wanted to do a little quick video um, just because I've been reminded by some wonderful fat people that today is World Obesity Day. Fuck all that fat phobia. Fuck it all right off. Being fat does not mean unhealthy. So I just wanted to wish everybody a fucking fantastic, fabulous, flabulous, fierce, fat World Obesity Day. Take your BMI skill and shove it right up your shitter. God dang, you guys. It's... Is intense. She is upset. <laughs> Respect everyone for who they are. I agree. What they do and how they live. I do not agree. I'm not gonna respect, like, Voldemort. Life is too short for you to project all your bullshit onto me. My body is my palace. My body is a fucking temple, which you will all worship at. Okay, and then she graces her temple with a huge ass burger. I've literally just gone and danced at the curved catwalk. And now, best thing about it, I've got a Big Mac. Oh, sorry, a grand Big Mac. So I'm going to enjoy this whilst I sit here with my belly out and I'm going to film a bit for you because it's kind of sexy. And you guys know how I love my burgers with hot Cheetos, but it's just kind of ironic that she's like, my body is in temple. And usually when people say that, they like, they eat healthier foods. So I had no idea that it was World Obesity Day. You guys were sending me, you know, certain memes and pictures of the hashtag. So I thought it'd be interesting to talk to my YouTube people about it. I personally think the day is great. It brings awareness. I do think there's a lot of random, you know, days out here. The only one I don't find weird is National Pet Day because my baby deserves a day. But like I said, it brings awareness and I think that's awesome. If these people really have an issue with it, why not just you know, wait till the next day and then it's all over. All right, you guys tell me what you think of this in the comment section. If there is a video idea that you want me to put on this channel, make sure to tell me in the comment section and I will see you guys next time. Remember, you do not have to be a size two. Biceps are great to have, but not needed to be healthy. But health is very important and I want all my watchers, even the people that are watching this, infuriated with me to be as healthy as possible. That doesn't mean to look like a fitness model. It just means get some activity in and eat a reasonable amount of calories. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrum.